Hello everyone and welcome back to Somethings in the Air. So I learned some things about this game, okay? I didn't really uh, check much of the menu out before, but I was looking up, uh, looking up who to date next. I didn't really know where to go in this game, I didn't know how many dates you could get. So uh, I found out there's a gallery, okay? One of the things is uh, there's clues, I don't know what this, I don't know what this means, okay? It says Somethings in the Air and you have clues, okay? And uh, I don't know what this clue two thing says, it says that Rachel, did she have another choice and... Makes no sense to me. Uh, oh! Oh wait, this might have something to do with the fact that in the night there's some sort of disaster because, um, you know, the, she was saying that there was a, a disaster, the fortune teller said it, and then at the concert there was a power outage. You know how it all happens in the same night. Anyway, I'm not really sure what that's about, maybe we'll go back to it later. There's also an ending gallery, okay? We've only ever gotten one ending with Ariane. I thought I was like, I was like, yes! There's an ending for Ariane, I banged her, but it turns out there's actually a lot. There are 10 endings for Ariane, and there are 10 endings for Rachel, and then there are a few other girls as well. There's Stacy, who's the girl on the cover of the magazine, and uh, you just see her naked, that's the ending. Wendy, I'm not sure what you can do with Wendy. Okay, we don't have the ending, but we did see her naked. And um, Bonnie, Bonnie only has one ending apparently, even though it uh, <laughs> happens in 17 different ways. Veronica, Veronica got killed by uh, a lightning strike. And Paula, I have no idea who Paula is, okay? You can also see all the completed endings here, so you can go in here and you can see uh, which ones you've gotten, like tequila shots where they made out, and then uh, the amusement park, gamer girl, yada yada yada. But uh, there's a player notebook, and it takes all the information that you get about these girls, everything you like, like dancing, clubs, drinking for Ariane, and uh, you know, photography is a side hobby for Rachel. I went on 13 dates with her, apparently. Only went on one with Ariane. So we're gonna have to go back to Ariane, but today what I wanna do, I think, is I either want to try and find out who the hell Paula is, or I want to try and get an ending for Wendy, okay? Wendy is right here, she's the girl, um, she's the uh, trainer, and you have a number of workouts here instead of dates, so I had one workout with her, and it was um, not a good time, I guess, because nothing happened, but I did see her naked at Bonnie's house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, okay, I'm going to go to the uh, the gym, and I'm going to try and get a good ending with the, with Wendy. Okay, we are a single American guy. We are uh, gonna go wake up in the morning, we're gonna go to the local gym, and then we're gonna go talk to one of these girls. Doesn't matter who, because Dave's gonna interrupt us with whichever, whichever one we talk to, either the one from a Mecca Mecca or the other girl. So let's just go ahead and talk to the funky hair girl, yada yada, Dave comes over. To hell with you, Dave. Then, we are gonna go and do some weight training, I think. That's the one we gotta do, right? Yes, and then Wendy comes over. What are you at, Wendy? Let's do this. Okay, let's start with your legs and work our way up. I think I said that sounds sexy, and she was like, Forget it, and then I said sorry. But this time we're just gonna say, great, show me what to do, because that's a nice thing to say, okay? That's that's not, you know, really rude. Now, before any strenuous exercise, it's important to start with some stretching. Here are some stretches especially good for the legs and calves. Okay, thanks, Wendy. Whoa, Wendy, you are driving me up the wall. Feel those calf muscles stretch. Yes, ouch. Okay, relax. We're gonna start with some leg lifts. I figure someone in your shape should be able to do 50. Okay, well, we're gonna do 50 leg lifts. I think that's uh, I think that's what we're supposed to do here. We're supposed to impress her, right? But we also have an energy level. What happens if we go below it? Are we gonna like not be able to bang because we don't have any energy? Let's just go ahead and do the leg lifts. You do 50 leg lifts. The first 20 are easy. Then it gets harder and harder. Did you finish your 50? Yes. Good job. Let's move on. Okay, so we're running out of energy. That's cool. No big deal. We probably gotta negotiate it so that we got enough energy to take her on a date or something. I don't know. Okay, let's work on those arms now. Like before, we start with some stretching. Time to do some good old-fashioned bench presses. You should be able to do 50 easy. I think I'm gonna negotiate this time. Come on, 50 sounds like a lot. Why don't we start small and work our way up, Wendy? Okay? Okay, since it's your first workout, why don't you do 20? There you go, look at that. Look at those hands go. This is beautiful. 20 bench presses turns out to be easy. Okay, good. Now what? Uh, do we have to wait for them all? Click. There you go. <laughs> I thought we had to wait for them all to be done. And that's 20. Good job. Thanks. I'm feeling stronger. What next? Next is the bike machine. Those sexy legs. Not only is it good for your legs, it's also good for your abs too. Does this mean no sit-ups? Yes, this is a good substitute for sit-ups. Why don't you run for two miles? Let's pretend this time, okay? The bike machine turns out to be a fun exercise, but Wendy is distracted by a phone call. Slacking off, you do about a mile. She is unlikely to notice the mileage. Good. Hey, Lexi, what's up? 2500 for a volleyball game? I'm in! Hmm, I see. The problem is I'm working and I have no way to get there. 
You know me, I'm much better than her. I'll try and arrange something, but no promises. See you later, Lexi. I know. I know what's gonna happen here. Listen, I got a call for another job and I have to go. Normally I would finish the workout with a jog on the treadmill, so if you're serious about fitness, you should get on and do running. Okay, listen. Don't 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 do this to me, okay? We 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 just we just started talking. I don't want you to leave. I want to come with you. I'll, I'll bring you there. Come on. If you were not serious, if you were just trying to impress me, it's not working. Come back when you're ready to really work out. Just to show her you are serious, you start running, but within a few minutes, she's gone. You go home, rest, and get ready for bar hopping with Dave. I don't think so. To hell with Dave. We're going back, okay? Going all the way back, and this time we're going to put in a real effort, okay? 50 bench presses. That's 50. Good job. Thanks. The last 10 were tough. I hate to sound like a cliche, but no pain, no gain. Next up's bike machine. Good to go. This is Pino sit-ups, yada, yada, yada. Ride for two miles. Okay, she says, good effort today, but you look exhausted. I am. Haven't worked out this much in a while. Normally, I'd have to, you do some running on the treadmill. Oh, but I think you had enough this week. Well, Wendy, thanks for being my trainer this morning. You were obviously serious about getting in better shape. Come by next Saturday, and we will see if we can improve on today. Sounds good. Hey, would you be interested in going out tonight? I'm sorry, I'm making a policy not to date my clients. She sees that you are disappointed. You are cute and have good work ethic. Yada, yada, yada. This doesn't work for me. It doesn't work. You head home exhausted. You fall on your couch and turn on the baseball game. But a sixth inning, the combination of not sleeping and a, and a tough workout hits you hard. <sighs> this is no good. So what happens if we just jump on the treadmill and start some jogging? Does anything happen then? Nope. You do some running for a while until you get tired and bored and go home. Later, you decide to meet Dave at the bar. That's not that's no good for me. Weight training it is. Wendy's going to come over. And this time, I guess we're just going to... We're gonna just negotiate, so we got lots left. Negotiate down. What if we do that twice, and then we actually do the uh, the last part? She might see that we're still exhausted. I don't know. Let's try it, okay? Got my 25. Feel like you can do some more. Maybe next time, let's move on. Okay, cool. And now I'm gonna negotiate down. Okay, good. And then, uh, and then last time, I'm not gonna negotiate, okay? No negotiating, ride for two miles. Okay, everything's good. Don't do this to me, please. Okay, I think we got something here, guys. I think I got it. Good effort so far. There's room for improvement, but you are on your way. Thanks. I feel good, too. Normally, we would finish with a lot with a jog on the treadmill, but I'm wondering if you would like to go on a field trip. Yes, I'm going on a field trip with Wendy. Come on, Wendy. Let's do this. We should go for a run on the beach at the lake. That's where the girls are playing volleyball. I'm pretty sure there's topless volleyball at some point. Yeah, are you asking me out? Whoa, no, nothing like that. Let's just keep this at a trainer, trainee level. So I'm guessing we can't actually do anything with her, but we'll get to see your boobs again. Or something. Basically, I'm asking for a ride to the lake. Got a job lined up there with no way to get there. Hmm, Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. You want me to bring you to a lake. But it's not a date. But you're asking, so I guess I'll do it anyway. Why not finish our training session with a run on the beach and lots of bikini-clad women? I like the way you think, Wendy. Sure, I'll give you a ride to the lake. Okay, so now we're in a car with Wendy. Everything is going well. Do you enjoy being a personal trainer or why is this gig, what is this gig you have at the lake? I'm going to say, do you enjoy being a personal trainer? Because I'm not trying to pry into what's going on at the lake because I heard the volleyball thing or the, the, the bikini-clad women. I'm just going to ask her about herself, okay? Of my three jobs, it's the one I enjoy the most. Whoa! Three jobs! That's pretty cool! Yes, my main full-time job is a waitress at the Drive and Dine. Okay. I think Paula, I think it says on Paula's thingy that you see her at the Drive and Dine. So I don't really know how you get her, but there's some way to do it. So you wear one of those skimpy uniforms. <laughs> yes, but the pay and the tips make it worth the while. Okay. Where else do you work? I also work weekends at Lizard's Nightclub. That's where I'll be working tonight. So which of these jobs do you like best? Personal trainer is a job I enjoy the most, but do the least. It also pays the least, but I enjoy it enough to do it anyway. You like the whole physical fitness thing, then. Yeah, I work out every day and play in city league sport teams year-round. Wow, you sound very busy. I am. I can't stand sitting at home, so if I'm not working, I am playing. All right, so we're at the beach. Look at that. Look what she's doing. I, just, I thought it was kind of cool. Thanks for the ride. <laughs> I'm heading for Silver Beach, which is located on the other side of that rocky ridge. It's been a mile and a half if you want to join me. Okay. I was gonna, I was gonna, what, bike for two miles or something before? So this is good. This is cool. Sure. I'll run with you. Oh, getting a little bit of that booty. Okay. You try to keep up with her. After about a mile, you start to tire out. Hold up, Wendy. I'm getting tired. Yes, I can see that. You should probably head back now. Don't worry about me. I'll get a ride with Lexi. Come to the gym next Saturday. <laughs> we can work out straight. Sure. See you next week. But wait. 
Maybe not. Maybe I'll stay here with this girl with the big boobs. You walk back to the car, checking out the views as you go. Nope. Turns out I'm going home. Okay, so I tried to do the uh, bench presses without her to, uh, to sneak them in, but she was like, no, it's too dangerous, so I couldn't do that. So I guess I'm going to negotiate these down. Okay. And now I'm going to uh, do the full ones on this, and I guess that's it. I guess that's what we end up with. We're going to the thing, so that's cool. I'll give you a ride to the lake. I'm going to ask you about your gig this time, okay? According to my friend Lexi, there's a beach volleyball tournament at the lake. Top prize is 5,000 split in two. That's 2,500, and you think you can win. Oh, easily. Lexi was on the college women's volleyball team last year, and they were conference champions. She is really good. And she called you last minute. She usually plays with a former teammate who canceled on her, so she called me. We worked together at the Drive and Dine. Okay, who doesn't work at the Drive and Dine these days? No one. And how are you at beach volleyball? Let's just say I have yet to find a sport I am not awesome at. Okay, cool. There's just something odd about this gig. It's at Silver Beach. I'm new to town and not familiar with Silver Beach. Well, the main city beach is easily accessible off the highway, but Silver Beach is only reachable by boat, a dirt road, or a one and a half mile hike. Because there's gonna be boobs. Lots and lots of boobs. And how are we getting there? The hike, of course. I told you we're going to run on the beach. Okay, let's try this. Wendy, just let me get to the beach with you, girl. What, what, what are we doing? I don't want to look at you, girl, okay? Get your boobs out of here. Go back. What are we doing? How are we doing this? Okay, we're going to try asking her about three jobs. I don't know if I have enough energy to do this. It's really freaking complicated. I tried all the combinations, and I can't get it to work, and I'm really confused. Wendy, I just want to see some topless volleyball. Come on. Why do you work three jobs? My lying bastard ex-boyfriend left me with a lot of debt. Okay, cool. So which of the jobs you like best? <laughs> cool. Let's try. Okay, I got, I got enough energy. You keep up with her. After Molly start tired. Hold on, I'm going to... Uh, what kind of personal trainer would I be if I did not encourage you to keep going? Okay, we're doing it. We are headed for those rocks. Silver Beach is on the other side. Yes, I don't know how I did this, guys. I think I uh, I negotiated one thing down, and then I uh, and I did the full on the other one. No, I pretended and negotiated, and then I did the... F I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Take a minute if you want. I'm moving on. Okay. Yes, we're there. Everything is going to go fine. You reach the rocks and walk through the narrow gap. Oh my god, there's dudes with penises here. When you reach the other side, there's a crowd. <laughs> Many are naked. Well, I'm just going to have to blur this entire thing out, guys, because I am not going at this. Okay. Wendy, did I neglect to tell you this beach is clothing optional? Yes, it would have motivated me more if you did. You shouldn't need these kind of motivations. You should enjoy fitness for itself. Shall we take off our clothes? I don't see why not. You can if you want, in case you have not noticed, it's mostly naked guys here. I don't care, I'll run around naked anyways. Or, yeah, you're right, that would make me uncomfortable. I'm going to run around naked anyways, who cares? Sure, let's see what you got. I'm headed to the volleyball court to find my friend Lexi. Okay, there's Lexi, wearing a very, 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 very skimpy top. Like the skimpiest I've ever seen a person wear in public. Well, I made it. Hey, Wendy, thanks for coming. My usual team partner chickened out at the last minute. You neglected to mention that the tournament was topless. <laughs> Pretty sure it did. That's why my partner isn't here. But I think all you heard was the $2,500 part. Okay, you may be right. I also told you to wear green shorts. We are supposed to be matching. Too bad I don't own any. So were you okay with the topless part? For $2,500, sure, but we have to win, right? Not a problem. These two are in the tournament, too. Wow, they are awful. <laughs> I'm guessing they will be out first round, and we won't play them. This is topless volleyball 23. It's not about... Good volleyball is about topless girls jumping around and acting silly. But the $5,000 to the winning team is real, and it's a legit contest. I've seen some of the previous meets, and the competition isn't that tough. Okay. Well, I say we do this. Those are the all-American girls. Their gimmick is that they like to touch each other when they score. Okay. Sexy. Yes, the strategy is easy with them. Aim for the blonde. The brunette can return. The blonde, not so much. Okay, over there, the Dobson twins. Their gimmick is that they are identical twin sisters. That's kind of weird. Like, hey, sister, let's, uh... Let's both get uh, topless together, even though we're twin sisters. That will make it harder to aim for the weaker opponent. Luckily, they had the same weakness. Namely, neither of them can handle the spike. Okay. I watched them play six games, and neither one ever purposely dives to save the ball. Sounds like an easy 2500 bucks. That means will, you will do it? Sure, why not? Seems you have this figured out. Great. So who is your naked friend? Hi, guys. I'm just a naked dude. This is my trainee, Matt. He gave me a ride here. Thanks for getting her here, Matt. Stay and enjoy the tournament. Oh, I will enjoy it. My penis is already out. In what looks like a sea of naked men, you look around to see if you can spot any naked women on the beach. The only one 
you find is a heavily tattooed chick, and she is with some guy who is actually wearing pants. Okay. Is that Veronica? I don't know if that's Veronica or not. Isn't she tattooed? I don't even remember. Who cares? Oh well, there promises to be a lot more female nudity very soon. Yeah! Okay. I'm getting in the mood to watch some topless volleyball. You stay and watch the festivities. Ladies and gentlemen, our first match today has the All-American Girls versus the Sorority Sisters. Okay, ladies, the game is topless volleyball, so take off those tops. I gotta stop dancing now. This is really hard to talk and dance, I swear. The guys cheer. Finally, some exposed boobs on this beach. <laughs> the Sorority Sisters serve first and try to serve overhand. The ball never clears the net. Serving underhand, the brunette slams the ball back for an easy point. The All-American Girls celebrate with a spontaneous makeout session. Sorority never scores a point, and there is making out more making out than actual gameplay. The naked men watching the spectacle are showing their approval. With what, like boners? We're here at the player's shower to do an interview with the sorority sisters. Sorry about your loss, ladies. You failed to score a point. <laughs> yeah, but we had fun. Maybe we were intimidated by their celebrations. Feel free to kiss each other now if you want to cheer each other up. Come on, reporter, what are you doing? But it worked! They, they're kissing! No big deal. Okay, now what? There you go. Feeling better? Yeah, I guess. Oh, that's Suki! Suki from the, from the, uh, from, what was that? The, uh, the hairdressers or something where, um, Rachel went to get stuff. Okay, time to hit the shower. You want us to shower? Naked? That's how showers are usually taken. Go ahead, don't be shy. I wasn't expecting this. And now they're showering. This is, this is a ridiculous game of volleyball. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for our second match in the Black Shorts, please welcome eight-time topless volleyball champs, the Dobson Twins. And in the black sunglasses, our challengers, the waitresses. So there's Wendy. She's like ripped, man. Like, holy crap. Okay, cool. Looks like they found a way to wear matching shorts after all. Why not wearing any? They're invisible. As beach volleyball matches go, this one felt a bit more real. Both sides gave it their all and played competitively. The end, in the end, it was the waitress's willingness to die for the ball and the Dobson's lack of defensive will that got Wendy and Lexi in the championship. We're here with the Dobson twins who played well but came up short. Thanks, Candy, it was quite a matchup. Who knew naked waitresses could play so well? Do you think their lack of bottoms gave them an advantage? I don't really know, Candy, but what I do know is that your shirt can use some work. What do you mean? Oh, whoa, okay, great, they're just gonna rip off the reporter's shirt. It would look more flattering with another <laughs> button undone. Let's make it two. Actually, there's three more. It does not matter as long as you can show some cleavage. There, that's better. <laughs> she's, she's got her boobs out, what the hell? That's a little more than cleavage, but now that shirt looks great on you. Well, thanks, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, time for the championship match between the All-American Girls and the Naked Waitresses. Okay, great. Are they gonna win? Who knows? So, how does it feel to be the champions of Topless Volleyball 23? So they did it. Great. Awesome, Candy. I'm so excited. Well, it was hard. It was a hard-fought tournament, but we stayed focused and took it one game at a time. and gave it 110%. And with the good Lord willing, we ended up on top. And was playing nude an advantage? Playing nude didn't bother me at first since at home I work out nude all the time. That's true. I saw it. But it wasn't fun after I got sand up my cooter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you two should shower off the sand then. Oh, definitely. Thanks, Candy. And now they're showering. Nothing exciting here. Why don't we check in with a losing team shower? Oh, God. So, ladies, how are you handling the loss? Uh, ladies? Why don't you join us and find out? <laughs> and now all three of them are in the shower naked. This is stupid. But hilarious. For Topless Volleyball 26, this is Candy signing out. And now it's just the sound of a shower. You didn't have to stay and wait for me. I have a ride back. I wasn't waiting for you. I was enjoying the show. Well, I'm going to stick around until they pay me. I think they want us to defend our title in Cleveland. Well, good luck with whatever you decide. Have a safe trip back, and I'll see you at the gym. Boom. We got the ending for Wendy. You walk back to the car, reliving the morning in your head. <sighs> After you get home, the exhaustion finally hits you and you take a nap. By the time you wake up, it's after 7 and it's too late to meet Dave at the bar. But at least you got naked and watched some women play topless volleyball. The end. Well, there you go, guys. That is Wendy's story. Apparently, if you do it just right at the gym, you have enough energy to run to the volleyball place and watch some topless and or naked volleyball where the reporter also gets naked and gets in a shower with the other contestants. Great. 
So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.